here in Doha. Mr. Al Hassari, uh, clearly the transitional government is not in control of Mogadishu. Uh, as you may know, Mogadishu is divided into 16 districts. Out of the 16 districts, two districts were occupied by the terrorists who, were, who are the remnants of the so-called Union Court. Uh, these people are supported by Al-Qaeda and terroristic groups around the world. So if you are saying you are in and control the of the majority now, of the city, how come we've seen only over 300,000 residents fleeing? I'm coming to that. Uh, now, the government is fighting with this group to evict them from these two places. They have already evicted them from one place, and one place is remaining. The insurgents fire their ammunition to all directions in Somalia, even to the peaceful areas just to incite the public there to rise against the Somali government and protest. But the Somali people in Mogadishu know who is their enemy, and you had never seen up to now a single protest against the government. The government is advising everybody in Mogadishu to leave Mogadishu because of the, these insurgents who are indiscriminately firing to all sides of Mogadishu to incite the people and could not confront the, uh, the, the Somali army who are fighting with them. Okay, let me put with the those suggestions the to Mr. Addo. Firstly, are you fighting alongside Al-Qaeda fighters within Mogadishu itself? Well, first of all, uh, uh, we need to address the issues that are important. Somalia is under Ethiopian occupation. I know, but I'm asking you first, are you fighting alongside Al-Qaeda fighters in Mogadishu, no, as you've just been accused of? No, no, that is uh, cheap terms used for fundraising uh, purpose uh, by Ethiopia, and even several countries have stated clearly that that is something that is being misused. And uh, Mr. Uh, Al-Azhari is uh, using a term that the world now is tired and they are not uh, interested anymore. The fact is Somalia is under occupation by Ethiopia. Ethiopia has invaded and is occupying Somalia by force. And the Somali people are resisting. Mr. Al-Azhari and others uh, who were working for Ethiopia as informers have no role right now. Their usefulness for Ethiopia is over. And Ethiopia is now directly dealing with the resistance leaders of the resistance force. And uh, they are not uh, uh, even recognizing or mentioning any, uh, and anywhere the name of the transitional government which Al-Azhari is saying he is a member of. He's in Nairobi and he does know either he, either he does not know the facts or he's trying to deny the facts. Okay, well, uh, you say that uh, it's not true what is happening. I mean, you are sitting here in Doha. If you can give us any light on the situation on the ground, you say you're not fighting with Al-Qaeda. Citizens themselves must be getting tired, as is the international community. What prospects for peace are you offering them? Well, uh, Somalia is under occupation. Ethiopia has invaded Somalia, and uh, Ethiopia is trying to kill everyone in Mogadishu uh, and, and destroy the entire city. If you look at Mogadishu, it is like a city hit by earthquake of uh, nine and above uh, uh, rectal scale, uh, in the rectal scale. So the situation is a country under occupation, and the Somali people are resisting the Ethiopian occupation. It's not only a particular group, but the entire city now is organizing, it has organized itself to uh, uh, force the Ethiopians out. As you know, one, almost one million people fled their homes. Ethiopia has used uh, airstrikes, they used tanks, they used heavy artillery indiscriminately into heavily populated area of the city. And, uh, and many people were killed, many others were wounded. And, and of course, uh, over a million people uh, left the city fleeing and not know where to go and there are all sorts of problems. Additionally, the Ethiopian is also blocking the uh, humanitarian aid, uh, and, and the transitional government is also helping that. Ethiopian is to block the uh, help that is going to the uh, population that fled the, the city. And uh, this was indicated clearly by WFB and the UN that they cannot uh, deliver food and medicine to the population who fled the city. And that is what Mr. Al-Ashari is also uh, assisting Ethiopians with.
Mr. El Hazari, is it not time for Ethiopian troops to leave? I know you're in a bit of a catch-22 situation because while they are there, the Union of Islamic Courts will continue fighting, but there are mass accusations against the Ethiopian troops of committing abuses. First of all, I'm not here to speak on behalf of Ethiopia and I'm not going to defend Ethiopia at all because I'm a Somali. I have been an ambassador for the last 30 years for the Somali government. Yeah, but you are working very closely with them and they are in the and, country at your and, invitation. Uh, and, and, and just, um, just let, let me answer and just I, I'm not here to use insolent words and degrade myself like the man who is with you, uh, who has never been to Somalia and was raised and uh, living in America. Uh, it, I would like to set light on why Ethiopia is there. Uh, when Somalia became a failed state, nothing has remained but the map of Somalia and those uh, Somali, helpless Somalis in Somalia. And Djibouti, Ethiopia, and Kenya were the ones who were always holding together Somalia and were not allowing anybody to uh, enter the territorial, inter inter uh, to, to, to plunge into the territorial integrity of Somalia. Uh, they were so honorable to keep Somalia together and never go, not, not go inside Ethiopia, even an inch did not, uh, Ethiopian troops did not did not go into Somalia. Somalia has been fragmented into uh, tribes and they could have wooed if they wanted those tribes and could have a foothold in Somalia. But these noble people from Djibouti, Ethiopia and Kenya kept the country intact and kept the Somali people together. And they have even invited them to solve their problems peacefully. Okay, Mr. Uh, Al-Hazari, so you've answered that. You're obviously the happy with them the staying the the with you. The, Mr. Addo, let's talk about, excuse there. me interrupting the, you there. Yeah. Uh, let, let's talk about Eritrea, okay, okay. another, another big Ethiopians player in the country. We've got uh, Ethiopia and Eritrea. The Many Ethiopia. accuse them of conducting a proxy the, war on Somali soil. No, let's focus on the issue. Eritrea is not there. Ethiopia is, uh, has invaded Somalia and Ethiopia is occupying Mogadishu and the yeah, rest of the, the country. But the U.S. is accusing Eritrea of no, no, funding your no, fighters and no, training no. them on Eritrean That's, soil. That is accusation, but Eritrea is not in Somalia. Ethiopia is occupying Somalia and is trying to kill everyone in Somalia and destroy the entire country. And uh, Mr. Azhari and others who are informant of Ethiopia are just presenting uh, facts that are not there at all. He is trying to uh, pr and, and say things that are not clear, and I am uh, and I have to state very clearly that Islamic courts were able to uh, unify 80 percent of the country, establish peace and order, open the airport, the main uh, port, and unify the tribes. They uh, uh, collected arms from the population and uh, created peace and stability. And everyone knows the uh, the record of the Islamic court. It, it speaks for itself. Islamic court is a peaceful political movement has nothing to do with any sort of terror. Terror is taking place right now in Somalia. Look at, compare the six months of Islamic courts uh, ruling Somalia and what Ethiopia and, 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 and its informers are doing, the destruction and the abuses that they are committing right now. There's genocide going on in Somalia, and you can see by yourself uh, the entire world is witness. So there is destruction, total destruction of the city of Mogadishu, and uh, they are destroying hospitals, schools, all the businesses. And uh, it's, a sh it's a shame that, uh, and astonishing that Mr. Azhari is trying to cover something that the entire world is watching. Uh, and I will tell him to do some soul uh, searching. TFG has no authority and no chance of ruling Somalia. The Somali people are resisting the Ethiopian occupation and Somalia will be free. Okay, I'd like to put this question to both of you, starting with you, Mr. Al Azhari. Your government has promised reconciliation. Uh, a reconciliation convention was cancelled. What is being done to bring reconciliation to Somalia? I would like first to answer the question he has posed, and that is why Ethiopia is there. Ethiopia has been invited. No, excuse me, sir, so you did explain that to us. We've got to very little time Somalia. left. If we can talk about reconciliation, please. But why do you impose on me your questions while you are not imposing on him your questions? I, I'm imposing, I've, I've, asked both of you, I've, asked both of you, I've asked both of you to answer this question, not. so if you could Absolutely go please. Absolutely, this is unfair of Jazeera 
this is unfair of Jazeera, and Jazeera, that's why they are losing audience and losing uh, prestige around the world right now, starting from the last time in Jordan. Well, I would like you to okay. answer your question now so that you can put your side across to us, because okay. that is what this forum is for. Okay. So I'll put well, a question answer. to you if you'd like to The, reconcil like the reconciliation, the, pres the president have, recalled, have called for reconciliation for all Somalis to come and participate and to discuss their grievances and forgive each other and from there on go forward. This, the international community have stated that this is a short time, the time which was given to, to, the, to the public to participate and they requested the international community, the UN, the Americans as well as the Europeans have requested to postpone this in order to give an ample time to the people to prepare themselves to come and